This is called a ferrofluid. Basically, tiny nanometer-sized particles coated with magnetite and suspended in a transparent liquid. And since these are magnetic, we can attract the liquid with a magnet. And look how cool is that! So for today's project, I want to combine the fur fluid movement with music. And I've seen such a speaker online, and I want to make one as well. So we'll have a Bluetooth 3D printed speaker with fur fluid effects and futuristic look. I will design and print the enclosure for the speaker. Then we select some good speakers, and we add a Bluetooth music receiver. We add some sort of supply, and we also create a simple circuit, that will use that music to create magnetic movement, and make the fur fluid dance. And that should look awesome. So guys, let's get started. Hey guys, PCBWay is sponsoring this video, and let me just tell about their services. For example, look how awesome their prototyping PCBs are, and you can get this for only $5. They are so professional and they will make your project work a lot better. And to order such PCBs, you only need a few minutes on their website, where you can select any configuration that you want for your boards. Along with that, you can also order the SMD stencil, for soldering the components using solder paste. And you can also use their services for flexible PCBs, and create some unique projects. And if you want to make your project start to finish, you can get the PCBs assembled together with the mold injected part, or maybe 3D printed, metal parts, or other CNC services, all with PCBWay. What's up my friends, welcome back! For this project we have three parts. Design and print the enclosure, select and make the music circuit with the amplifier and all, and the third part will be the magnetic control circuit of the ferrofluid. So let's start! My design is made out of three main parts, and some other smaller internal parts. Ok, so the front part will have the ferrofluid. I bought this fluid already with the bottle, and that's very important. But I also have this other one that comes only with the ferrofluid, but I don't recommend you to try making your own transparent solution. From what I've seen online, it's quite difficult to get the perfect concentration, and for just a few more dollars, you can get the round flat bottle as well. But don't buy this other type. It's not actually original ferrofluid. It looks more like iron dust inside some transparent liquid, and it's actually very bad, and as you can see how one looks like a liquid, but the cheap one looks like some small bits of metal. It's very important for the bottle to be flat, so it will fit better inside of my design, and we could also see better the fur fluid. Because using a round glass, there will be too much distortion, so try using a flat bottle like I did. And around this bottle I've printed this part. This is made out of translucent PLA. And that's because I also want to add some LEDs inside, so the light will dance with the rhythm of the music as well. And then I've designed the middle part. And this will keep in place this electromagnet. This one is made to work with 24 volts, and is quite powerful. As you can see, when I connect it to voltage, it will start moving the ferro fluid. So all we have to do is to connect this to some sort of amplification circuit. This electromagnet will go in the center of this 3D printed part. And this middle part also has the spaces for two speakers, one on each side. And I've designed this in such a way, that the speakers will have their own compartment so the sound won't vibrate to the entire enclosure. And the other exit for the sound will be below here. I am not an audio expert, so sorry if my speaker's design is not the best. Anyway, finally, the last main part will go on top, and like that we close the speaker enclosure. As you can see, it's made in such a way that these two parts are just a few millimeters off, so they will fit exactly on the speaker enclosure and close them. So I have my design made out of these three parts. The top part was printed using supports, so make sure that you activate that option when you print it. And remember, this small part must be printed with translucent PLA, so the light could pass through it. So now I have the 3D parts. Let's check the rest of the parts that we need. I went with these speakers. Because I've used these modules for a previous 3D printed speaker, and they were great. 
as an amplifier I will use this one. It's meant for a dual channel and works with a voltage up to 26 volts, so that's great. I want to supply this entire speaker with 24 volts, because that's the voltage of the electromagnet. And for that I have this supply of 24 volts, but it could only deliver up to 2 amps of current. The electromagnet would only use around 500 milliamps, so we still have 1.5 amps of current to use with the audio amplifier. So that might give us some problems, and I might need to use another more powerful supply, but we will see. To add lights to this project, I will use these 12 volts white LEDs. And to make them withstand the 24 volt supply, I will take out the current limiting resistors and add some new ones with double the value, so 24 volts won't burn the LEDs. It would be nice to have a 24 volt LED strip, but I don't have one right now. To make the electromagnet controller, we only need a capacitor, two MOSFET transistors, a BJT transistor, some resistors, and a good heat dissipator so the MOSFETs won't get too hot. And finally, to receive the music, I'll use this small Bluetooth audio receiver as I've done for some other previous projects. And together with all these, we need a screws, threaded insertions, maybe some glue, wires, and so on. Check the full part list on my website. But this is pretty much everything that we need. So let's assemble everything starting with the ferrofluid part. So take the front 3D printed part and some insertion nuts. You should add this using a soldering iron, but I just realized that the holes I've made were too big. So I had to use some epoxy glue for these insertion nuts. But now I can use some entry screws and fit in place the transparent part. And this is where we add the ferrofluid bottle. I've placed some double side tape inside so it won't vibrate. And now we have to add the LEDs around, and I first place them like this, but since I don't like how the light looked, then I've separated them into packs of 3 LEDs. And then I've glued them inside, pointing towards the bottle, and since the support is translucent, the light will pass to the bottle and make it look cooler, right? And now we can place the middle part on top and close it using 8 M3 screws. But make sure that you pass the wires from the LEDs to the middle part, before you close it with screws. And now, in the middle, we add the electromagnet and glue it in place using some hot glue. I connect it to 24 volts and it looks like it works ok. Then we add the speakers on the side using some screws. We pass the wires into the interior of the enclosure. And then we fill the small box with some special cotton in order to remove the vibrations and the unwanted resonances. Now get this schematic from below and follow it for the audio connections. To receive the audio I'll use as before one of these Bluetooth audio receivers that only cost $2 on AliExpress. I only need this small PCB with some wires connected to the outputs, to the battery input, push buttons and charging inputs. I connect the left and the right audio outputs to the audio amplifier left and right input pads. I also soldered two wires to the on and off push button, so we could place that button on the exterior of the speaker enclosure. And then I add a bigger battery to the receiver, so it would last longer. And to charge this battery, I'll add a small buck converter for 5 volts from those 24 volts. And that's it. Check the full schematic for all the connections. For the main input of 24 volts, I'll use this DC jack, and I also add that on the back of the 3D printed case. Then I also add the main switch, and connected cables between them, so now we can turn it on and off. And finally I solder that simple circuit with the MOSFETs on a piece of prototyping PCB. And to this PCB, we have to connect one channel from the Bluetooth music receiver. I connect the circuit to the electromagnet, and also connect the amplifier to the speakers, and now everything is as in the schematic. Now all the connections are made, so we could fix everything inside, but before that we give it a test. I connect 24 volts at the input and I flip the toggle switch. I play some music from my smartphone and check the results. Jesus. 
Jason Voorhees. And it works as expected. So we can now close the entire enclosure and give it the final touches. I add 3 screws and the project is done. Connect again 24 volts and toggle the switch. And then we press the binding button. Once the LED is blinking, connect it to your smartphone. And there you go, here we have another test. So guys you have the full part list, the design for the 3D printed enclosure, the circuit that I've made and everything that you need on electrons.com. So check the links below for the tutorial page. I hope that you like this project and that you have learned something new. If so give me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it and the most important part I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below. Uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts. All this kind of stuff will support my channel. So thank you very much once again.